Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Cor. Today I'm going to be reading for Capricorn, my fellow Capricorns. I'm a Capricorn myself. You know I love you guys. So this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Capricorn X is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you only wish positive things on people. No negativity, please, because karma is a B and it will end up coming back on V. Now, I am going to talk about the elephant in the room. Um, one, I've had quite a lot of my hair cut off and I'm not too sure if I like it. I've had quite a lot. My hair was like down to here. So I've had like between like, I, I'd say about six, seven inches off. It's got to be because my hair was past my boobs. Um, but all the hair that was below there was really unhealthy and it needed cutting off. And then I had some blonde put through and I've gone back to my natural color, which uh, feels weird, but yeah, all my roots had grown out. So my natural color it was and I kind of like it. So I'm going with it and it's always good to um, follow what makes you happy and if changing your hair colour and doing something like this makes you happy then do it. And two, um, if you haven't seen it then um, go watch it. I, it was literally only a small clip because um, my coffee had also gone on my microphone so my microphone cut off but my microphone is okay. Um, I've had to put it on my little... Um, my necklace today because I can't it'll be, if I pin it up here it'll be a bit too much but I'll see how I feel um but yeah literally I spilt my coffee and it literally went all up one side of my cards it was all my oracle cards that went over um so in frustration over the last couple of days that's why I didn't upload yesterday I, <laughs> I was in my garage and I've literally cleaned out my whole garage and um, while I was in there, I've got a lot of gym, gym equipment and um, I do a resistance training now. Well, I have been doing resistance training for the last year and a half, but I've got quite a lot of equipment for res resistance training. And um, I was organizing all that. I've done quite a few tip runs and I've got one more tip run to do. Hopefully I could do it for my son's birthday on the first, but if not, then I'll do it later. Um, but yeah, I organised it all and I found um, these small planks of wood and I was like, I'm going to make myself a tarot deck holder. I'm going to make myself a tarot deck holder. I got my saw, I had my electric drill. <laughs> you should have seen you guys. I, I was like a woman on a mission and I came up with this and I'm so freaking proud. I walked in and I showed my youngest and he was like, who made that for you? I was like, I made it myself. <laughs> and I didn't know I was good at like woodwork. <laughs> didn't know that was a thing, but apparently your girl got some skills. And look what I made. So this has got, as you can see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this has got eleven of my tarot decks, and all these ones here are all my like big oracle decks. And it is like heavy. <laughs> I could do some weight lifting with this. Like it's heavy. Um, so there's going to be no more spillages. I painted it this really pale grey, um, and then I put some bee wax, beeswax on it and stuff like that. So yeah. No more spillages for moi. No, no, no. And I got my coffee all the way back here, so it's, it's not gonna happen. I made myself a toffee latte, at the, like the one I spilled, and I was like, should I be doing this? But then obviously I'd have to like <coughs> reach out to spill it. So let's get started. Enough babbling. Um, the next reading I'm gonna be doing after this one is a collective and during the collective i am going to be doing um the giveaway so um i'm going to get my sons to well my eldest i'll get him to pick out a name of all the people that entered and um yeah see who wins so that's quite exciting so just remember to turn the volume down just a little bit so it doesn't hurt your ears okay my loves
perfect wow wow i am picking up that you um maybe even your um your love interest um are or have been working on your spirituality so doing meditation um trying and spiritually awakening um because when i did that then and i was just connecting to my spirit guides because that's why i do that um because it helps me clear the energy it helps me ground myself it helps me to relax and then it gives me the time to connect with my spirit guides and while i'm doing that sometimes they'll give you a message because they're like too excited they're like oh so and so is going to be here and they've got to hear this or um they'll tell me something that I was meant to hear this morning and I was too busy so they'll tell me now they were like by the way you need to do this or you need to get in touch with so and so because they need you or something yeah it's something like that but I feel like your your senses are on overdrive and I feel like wow like Yeah, my instinct is on fire. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, like I can't stop smiling. So I'm going to start off with the Everyday Witch, which is what I've, um, which I'm going to be giving away. I can't, I, I can't wait to do this first giveaway. Like I'm so excited for it. Oh, that was pants. Oh, that card wanted to come out. Let's see what that card is. That card is wriggling out then. Do you not wanna? Right, what is happening? Let me do it the other way. What is this? Ooh, the six of cups. Are you up, all up in your feels about somebody? Or is somebody all up in their feels for you? That's better. I have to be careful with these cards because I keep on bending them too much. Bending them way, way, way too much. <laughs> Can I have guided love messages for my wonderful Capricorns? My courageous Capricorns. So it was that one, the Nine of Pentacles, doesn't surprise me, and the world. Whoop! <laughs> what we got, the Queen of Wands. Do you know what I just picked up with that Queen of Wands? I literally picked up that the Queen of Wands is very successful. She's very, very abundant. She knows exactly what she wants in life out of her relationship, where she's going. You know, she does follow her heart and um, she's admired for what she's overcome. She's admi admired for what she's achieved. And, I, and I'm feeling that with you. Like, this is, this is fire energy all the way, isn't it? Um, but I just, the look that she's giving is like, look at that look on her face. This is the look of, oh my God. Hmm. Wow. Like, I, like this person is in love and she's thinking about the person that she loves and she can't get the person that she loves out of her mind because she can't wait to spend more time with this person. She can't wait to tell this person how she feels because I feel like this is why the Six of Cups is here. This is about being vulnerable and telling the person that you feel how much you feel about them little small kind of gestures of love you know and it's not just about flowers or whatever or going out on dates 
I feel like it's you and your love interest. Like talking and talking about things that is really, really personal to each one of you and being there for each other and showing each other that you have care and compassion for each other. And I don't feel like you've really had that before, like somebody that's willing to be up all night with you and wanting to help you with your problems or making that time and effort for you. Like, yeah, you've most probably been on dates or had a sexual relationship or a romantic relationship, but I feel like when it comes to being really personal and letting that guard down with somebody, I feel like you haven't 100% done that, but with this person, you can just see you laying everything down and being like, this is me. Warts and all, this is me. And you're scared to do that. Anybody would be scared to do that. You know, what if this person doesn't like the real person that I am? What if this person sees the real person I am and they're like, oh, no, I don't like that. No, I liked, I liked the person that was... I don't know, up in their ego that was always peacocking, that was always sure of themselves. But really they didn't like that person because the person that, maybe I'm talking to the cross watcher, I feel like I'm talking to the cross watcher. I, feel, I don't feel like I'm talking to Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn, you feel like your love interest was always in their ego and they, you tried your hardest to get them out of their ego, but it was really, really hard because they liked the attention that their ego got them. So maybe they always got a lot of attention off girls or always got a lot of attention off boys um, when they're always all like acting like a bit of a dick, if I'm honest. I've got to be honest. I've got, uh, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Like if I saw somebody like this, I'd be like, whoop. You stay right over there and I'll stay right over here. Let's not go near you because you're going to break my heart. <laughs> but they're really good looking and they know they're good looking. And that's scary to be around somebody like that because when somebody knows that they're that, that good looking, yeah, they know how to manipulate the situation to make things go their way. That's what I'm seeing. But I feel like at some point, Capricorn, you walked away from this person because you were fed up with their shit, their burdens. You took on too many burdens with this person. There was too much toxicity. There was too much hurt. And you had to walk away because you, you didn't want to deal with it anymore. It was hurting you too much. It was, there was nothing good apart from the love that you had for this person. I feel like this person was off with every Tom, Dick and Harry, you know? Everybody had to go with their bike at the end of the day. This was the bikes, you know, this this was, um, how can I say? Um, yeah, this this stayed in the, in the corner of the town, this bike, and everybody got to have a ride on it, you know? And that means that bike wasn't special anymore, was it? No. To you, the bike was special because you un you have unconditional love for this person. But you pulled your energy back even though it was the hardest thing you've ever had to do. And you walked away. And when you walked away from this person, because that is that came up in reverse, um, when you walked away from this person, you realised how many burdens you were taking on supporting them, being there for them, dealing with their shit and making out that everything that they were putting you through was nothing. You realised that this weight had come off your shoulders. You knew that you was, in their eyes, not enough, even though in your eyes, you were perfect together. You raised them up as much as you could. You gave this person your all. 
but they were indecisive because they had so many options. This person on the table in front of them, they've got all these cups, these cups of love. And they're like, oh, but if I go with, I don't know, Tiffany, um, Tiffany's really, really successful, so that would be good. Or if I go with, I don't know, think of another girl's name, Michelle. Um, Michelle's really beautiful, you know, and all my friends would be like, oh my God, I can't believe you wrote Michelle. Um, and then the other cup is, think of another girl's name. Why can I think of a girl's name? Sarah. Sarah. If you go with Sarah, Sarah, <laughs> Sarah is sexy. Ooh, Sarah is sexy. So, you know, my friends would be like, damn, you with Sarah. Do you know what I mean? Everybody wants Sarah, but Sarah's got high standards. But Sarah wants me. But uh, I also like Tiffany and, did I say Michelle? Yeah, I also like Tiffany and Michelle. And then there's Capricorn back here with their cover love. And then they see that your love interest has got all these cups in front of them and all these girls are like, hey. <laughs> and you're like, oh. oh. And you're like, okay, enjoy your other cups. Because I physically can't stand here anymore. Oh my God, I'm getting really upset. I physically can't stand here anymore and see this going on. I'm putting my love on a plate for you and all you're doing is chucking it back in my face. I respect myself way, way too much to let you treat me like a mug. I ain't no mug. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. So you literally pulled your energy back away from this person. And I feel like this person had fun with Tiffany, Sheila, Dorothy, whoever these people are, whoever they are, whoever they are. Um, this person had fun, do you know what I mean? They lived their youth, whatever it is, with all these girls. And then when they realized, oh, wait a minute, where's Capricorn? Where is the one that I actually want to settle down with? Where's the one that I actually do want to be with? I wanted to have fun with Tiffany and Sheila or Michelle. Michelle, Sarah, got it. Um, yeah, I wanted to have fun with them. I didn't want anything serious with them. No. But Capricorn, you didn't feel good enough. And when you moved away, you, you were like, damn, I am good enough. I love with everything and I know you love with everything you have. I know you do. I do. I do. And it always bites me in the freaking ass. And I'm like, oh my God, I love that person with everything I had. And it was still not enough. And I've done that. I've, I've, I have literally, I have literally done that. I have literally put everything on a plate for somebody. And that person's like, <laughs> nope. And then you walk away and that, that like pressure that's like on your shoulders, like lifts. And as much as your heart is breaking, as much as you are in absolute despair that you've walked away from most probably the love of your life, you know it had to happen. And you had to go into this hermit mode to heal your heart. And I feel like for, for some of you, this took many years. This took many years of going in and out of relationships. This took many years of you finding yourself. And I feel like for most of you, you most probably went in and out of relationships because you were looking for this one, the one that you've always had a soft spot, soft spot for, the one that you've always been attracted to, the one that you've always loved. You've always been looking for this person, the person that you walked away from, because you wanted everything that you felt for that person, that's what you wanted. How they made you feel, that's what you wanted, except for you didn't want it to come with their indecisiveness. If you could have this person and them not being indecisive, them being upfront, them being vulnerable, 
them showing you their true thoughts and feelings, them dropping all their burdens and being vulnerable with you would have been perfect because I truly feel like this would have worked out if both of you could have been vulnerable. I feel like one of you, Capricorn, um, was insecure, which your love interest, having all these other options and you um, made you more insecure than you already was, which shined light on your insecurity. Let me, let me just have a look. Let me pull the rest of the cards for you, my lovelies. Yeah. Oh, King of Cups. Okay. Okay. I'm getting so... <clears throat> not going to happen. I'm not going to get emotional today. Um, this is somebody making a decision. Somebody's taking off their mask and finally choosing what they what they really, really want. This is somebody following their heart. And I don't feel like I'm speaking to Capricorn here. I feel like Capricorn, you made your choice a very long time ago. You've always known who you've loved, where you wanted to go, what you've loved, where um, your heart belonged. Sorry guys, I had a delivery come. So I just had all my dog food delivered. And those things weigh a ton. I was like saying to the guy, hi, can you put that inside the door, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, what I was about to say is that... For some of you, I do feel... That person that you've always loved, that person that you've always wanted to be in a relationship with, is coming back. Somebody is, is literally, for the first time ever, getting in their emotions and they're walking towards you. They're walking towards their, their queen. Um, because they admire you so much. They've seen how strong you've been, what you've put up with and I feel like this person has never been vulnerable with you, has never told you how they truly feel. And I feel like they've always been up in their head because of it. Even if you two don't romantically be together, even though I feel like you have so much passion and love for each other, even if you just stay as friends, I feel like this is gonna be the person that is gonna be always by your side, is always gonna support you. Um, because I, I feel, I literally, yeah, I feel it right in my heart that you have unconditional love for each other. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that you just look at each other and you're just like, I just love you so. But I see that you're both scared. You're both scared. Even though you, you are going to open up, you're both going to be vulnerable with each other. I feel like it's going to be a moment where when this person comes towards you, you're going to relax together. You're going to take time out together, have a few drinks together. And I think that's what it, that's what it needs to be. The, you're not, both of you are not putting pressure on the situation. Because what I'm seeing is that you've both been on your own, healing yourselves for a while. Yeah, for a while. Following, um, following your passions in, in work, that's what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, and do you know what I feel as well? I feel like you, you both sense each other. That's what I'm feeling. It's like, even though I'm busy um, doing my day-to-day -day things or busy in work or I'm busy doing my normal everyday stuff, I feel like I'm consumed with you in my brain. Like, I can't get you out of my head. 
I just can't. Yeah, no matter how much I try, I just can't. I can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out of my head. Boy, your loving is all I think about. What is that song? Oh, and that a Kylie song. Sure, that's a Kylie song. La la la. Yeah, I'm sure it is. The sun. Here comes the sun. Du, 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 du. You bring so much light into each other's lives. Like, seriously, that's all I'm seeing. So much happiness. So much, like, it's like you just get like a burst of energy if you think about this person or if you dream about this person or if you see this person spend time with this person oh my days it's like you've been on coffee and like had a massive caffeine boost you're like (laughs) yeah i can feel that fire i can feel that warmth i can feel that love I can just feel how much you have passion for this person. How crazy you are about this person. It's like her heart has got the sun around it. Can you see in the middle of the picture here? They bring that warmth to your heart and that's why you're like pulled towards this person. As much as you have pulled away, whether I'm talking to the cross watcher, this uh, King of Cups, or I'm talking to Capricorn, because the Empress is coming out again, trying to come out again for Capricorn. Clarity on this Queen of Wands. Is this Capricorn, the Queen of Wands? The moon. Oh my God, I know what they're trying to tell me. So, what's happening, okay, is there, there's going to be a new beginning. There's a transformation. A transformation of this person, a transformation of you. I feel like, for both of you, your lives are not what they once was. I feel like you're... In your work life, I feel like you're, you've overcome some massive hurdles and your personal life. I feel like you're more stronger, you've got more passion, you've got more determination than you've, than you've ever had in your life. And to say that to a Capricorn is, is a normal thing because every single Capricorn that I know of um, in work is very, very determined. If I had a choice to work with any other star sign or a Capricorn, Flat out, I would choose Capricorn, whether I knew them or not. If they told me they were Capricorn, I'd be like, yep, come aboard. Yep, you can come to my company, that's fine, yep. Your your fight and your passion to succeed, and if you're doing something that you love, wow, wow. And it's almost as if when when you're doing your job that you love, it's like you just want to teach others as well. So say if you was like, um, I love to bake or I love tarot. Um, so when I first started um, doing my baking or doing my tarot, um, I was learning it and developing my skills on it and um, just literally messing about because I learn from um, doing things um, how I experience things rather than just looking in a book. Um, yeah, I'm more hands-on um, than anything else. So I, I was just like messing around and I started to um, actually do cakes for my family. I always did, I've always made cakes for my, my boys. Um, but then I, I was the go-to person to do cakes for my family. And then I was the go-to person to do cakes for my friends. And then my friends were telling their friends. And then it just went on from there. 
Um, and it's the same with tarot. I literally started off doing tarot readings for like my mum and my sister. And then my family started getting involved. So it was like my aunties and my cousins and it literally just spiraled from there. And then I started teaching people like how to ground and how to protect themselves and how to develop their skills, how to follow their instincts and follow what their spirit guides tell them to do, how to find what their passions are. And I feel like that's what you're like, Capricorn. Well, not feel, I know you're like that. If you've, if you've got a passion about something, all you want to do is talk about that. And that's what you're like with this person. You're desperate to talk about this person. All you want to do is talk about this person. Have somebody else that is interested about this person. So you're like, oh my God. I just spoke to them today and they said this really funny joke. And it's like, must worry, not even funny, but they said it. Let me try and read it. And then you read the joke out that they said and it's like not funny to the other person. But to you, like, it's like the best joke you've ever been told. <laughs> Because you're crazy about this person. You're consumed by this person. It's really, really sweet. And because of your, your passions to succeed, your determination, your, your drive, I feel like you're... The death of... You're ending the secrecy. You're, end, you're both ending the things that you didn't tell each other. So you're going to shine a light on all the things that you kept in, in the secret. So your true thoughts and feelings, being vulnerable with each other. Yeah, being vulnerable with each other because that's the main energy for the board. Because I was trying to get cards for the Queen of Wands and they went, no, board. They wanted me to get energy for the board first. And now I'll do the Queen of Wands. <laughs> I'm not running the show. My spirit guides are. I'm just the face. <laughs> the Queen of Wands, please. <laughs> the Queen of Wands for my Capricorns, please. Queen of Wands for Capricorns. Queen of Wands. Are you going to give it to me? The Six of Wands. Triumph. Victory. Oh yeah. Glory. Do you know what I feel as well? I feel like you've been patiently waiting, patiently waiting for this to come together. It's like you've always known that this person's gonna come back to you. You've always had a feeling that this relationship's gonna come together. You've always known that this person's had your heart and they've got yours. That this person's got your heart and you've got theirs. That's what I was meant to say. I just, I just literally heard that back. I was like, no, that's not right. That's it. <laughs> the two of wands. Yeah. So, I'm not going to elaborate on these cards because I already know, but I want to elaborate on the world. You two are... You've made this wish, and the wish is for you two to come together. So what's happening now is because you've overcome these karmic cycles, because you've overcome these burdens, you're being more vulnerable, you're opening up. And because of that, you two are planning to come together. You're wanting to start up this partnership. You're wanting to start this relationship. And even if the, the beginning stages is you being friends, you being there for each other, like I said before, I feel like you've chose each other. You're a massive influence on each other's lives. You're very focused now on each other. And I feel like everything I'm doing right now is for our future. 
I'm making sure my money is okay. I'm making sure I'm okay. I'm healthy in, in mind and body because I want to have um, a long and, and successful life with you. Let's have clarity on this Eight of Cups. This Eight of Cups, please. The Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. No, you're not gonna cry, you're not gonna take, take a drink, take a drink. Right, the reason I'm, oh my God. reason why I'm getting upset is because I can feel how emotional how emotional you are when this information comes forward the clarity you're getting the light that is being shone the sun and the moon coming together before I even say anything this is twin flame energy the sun and the moon are the original twin flames every night okay or every evening the sun goes down for the moon to shine and every morning the sun comes out and they shine for the moon and the moon just sits there and watches and then it's like they do vice versa do you know what I mean they watch each other glow they help each other they're part of each other and they always will be they're a team. <laughs> it's literally, this is so breathtaking. This is this is literally breathtaking. I just wanted to clarify this this eight of cups. Where where are you both heading towards? What are you heading towards? Where are you going? What are you planning? And what came out is communication. You're traveling towards the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, guys. Look how much these two love and adore each other. Look how at ease they are together. They're just so content. Prosperity, inheritance, family. This is contentment. This is just being yourself and being at ease being yourself, not feeling judged because you're being you. This person, the reason why you're drawn towards them so much is because you know they accept you for you. Even when you was being this absolute tool, cross watcher, this person still stood beside you. Even though it hurt this person, they still stood beside you until it got too much. Until I don't know, you were seeing five different girls. I don't know, whatever, whatever the circumstance was. I feel like there was too many burdens for this person to take on, and they had. They had things that they had to take care of. To so say, I'm having to work because I've got mouths to feed. To so say, if you have children, or I'm seeing family, I'm seeing it's not just children. You're having to take care of either like grandparents or parents. Maybe you take care of your siblings. I'm even seeing it, seeing. Your family relies on you. Yeah. So all these burdens, the re when this didn't work out, this person had to walk away because they really had to concentrate on putting food on the table. For many people. And giving you all their attention took away from that. 
but now you've both gone into this you I feel like this is past you went into this this hermit mode hibernation dealing with all those those toxic things capricorn and cross watcher all those toxic things that you brought into relationships you dealt with them it's like one by one you wrote a list oh yeah but i did actually do that in a relationship and that's really toxic I shouldn't be doing that actually. I wasn't fair on that person that I brought that into relationship. Oh, I actually did flirt with a lot of girls or a lot of guys. Oh, I actually was really insecure and I put a lot of pressure on that person. And I really shouldn't have done that. And to be quite honest, I kind of showed this person that I didn't trust them because I was so insecure. Because I'm, the person I'm looking at now is definitely not insecure. It's like I'm seeing like somebody that's like stood strong. Like these two people are, are like strong. They're powerful. They know exactly who they are. They know exactly what they want. They're holding themselves in high regard. They're loving themselves first before they go into any relationship. They're making sure they've sorted all their shit out. Because the next relationship that this person goes in, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, you want it to be forever. You want this Ten of Pentacles. And this communication is coming forward. There's good news on the horizon. And this news is coming in fast. Because she's got like a bow and arrow. She's like pulled back. And she's about to release. You're about to have this good news. This movement is happening. I feel like it's... You've both put things in place. It's like you've packed your bags. You've... Very much booked your taxi. You just don't know the Pacific time. So you know a date, but you don't know the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's how much planning this has taken. Yeah. And there's been a couple of times I've, I'm feeling that you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do it today. Today is the day, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tell this person exactly how I feel. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give this good news. That's what I'm going to do. The communication's going to come. I'm no longer going to keep this person in the dark. I'm going to tell this person exactly how much light they bring into my life, how much I love them, how much I care for them. I can't hold back from you anymore. All I do is long for you when I go to sleep. Literally, I'm lying in bed, getting ready to go to bed, and I dream about you. I can't stop thinking about you. And then when I'm sleeping, I dream about you. And then when I wake up and I'm trying to get ready for work, I'm thinking about how nice it would be that... Capricorn would be here, or how nice it would be that the cross watcher would be here. There's a lot of water and there's a lot of fire. I'm actually picking up Leo Sagittarius. Me as a reader, I'm picking up Scorpio. Cancer. Aquarius. Yeah, a lot of Capricorn and Taurus as well. Wow. It's definitely a higher level of commitment with you both. I can feel it with everything I have. I can feel it. Because you're planning on coming towards each other. I just want to clarify on the Six of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Are you freaking kidding me? No clarity on the Six of Cups, please. Clarity on the Six of Cups. Clarity on the Six of Cups. Capricorn. I 
didn't mean to do that, but everything happens a reason. So we have we have the seven of swords that came out in reverse. We have the seven of wands, seven seven. And we have justice, balance, equality. Finally getting the justice that you both deserve. You're both getting this courage together. And I feel like the reason why this seven of wands is here is because you are both being dishonest with each other. And this dishonesty is all about that you didn't tell each other how you truly felt or one of you didn't tell the other person how you truly felt. Because I feel like one of you's in the dark and the other one's not. Because there's a shadow on the little girl. And the, the man the man that's given the flowers to the girl is like a shadow on her, on the back of her. And I feel like that's what's coming to light. He's, he's finally given these flowers, so he's finally showing his affections towards the feminine. There's definitely an age difference. But I feel like it's in, in reverse. Because I feel like the, the feminine Capricorn is older. Because I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating on this older lady and this younger masculine here. That's what they're keeping me focused on. Yeah. You're not as old as the old lady. Um, but some of my um, subscribers, I was speaking to one the other day, a lovely lady, you know who you are. I think she's a Taurus. Um, but she watches every single one of my readings. Um, yeah, she won't mind me saying she's 75. And um, her and her um, first ever love, um, they got back together. They actually separated, both remarried, both had children. Um, they've had children together and they've had children separately, but they both lost their um, new partners and they both come together and they moved in a house together, a big house together. They were both, all, both in separate rooms, but they came together to raise all their kids. So their joint children together, their you know, their own children, they raised all together. And um, they spent 20 years living like that. And one day she said something just clicked and she knew that she, she was meant to be with this person. And yeah, they've been married for, I think she said 26 years they've been married um, for the second time. And I just thought, oh my God, it's, it's true, isn't it? True love really does exist. Beautiful. Justice is being served, divine justice is being served here. And this dishonesty, how it came out in reverse, I don't normally take reversals, but that's what they're showing me. Um, yeah, this dis so it's literally like, you're, you're getting the courage together to tell the truth, bring a light into the situation no longer be in the dark about the dishonesty that you both had because the divine justice is supporting you in this. Telling you it's okay. It's all right to be emotional. It's okay to be in your thoughts and feelings with this person because this person isn't judging you because actually this person was a bit dishonest just like you. And the reason why they were dishonest just like you is because they were also scared also scared of this higher level of commitment. Um, I'll try and do, no, I won't. These are the cards that got ruined. Um, quite a lot of them are quite badly damaged. I've dried most of them out. Um, let me try and see if I can shuffle. I tried to do this earlier and it weren't working. <clears throat> I love this guy. I'm so proud of myself that I've made this. Check me out, guys. Check me out. Oh, you never know. It might, might be a new business for me. <laughs> Making uh, tarot boxes for your cards. 
Oh, drop me an email. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. Oh, uh, right. I didn't fall in love with you because I have always loved you and always will. I want to give you the world. I'm not ready for commitment with anyone. And I feel like this is why this tower moment had to happen because they weren't ready for commitment with anybody. This is this card. This is why they were always indecisive. That's why they kept all these options. And I guarantee that every single person they went with was under the age of 30, guarantee, under the age of 25. Guarantee it. I'll put money on it. Because that means if somebody is from the age of 18 to 25, you don't really want to settle down at that age, do you? You want to, like, um, live your youth. You want to be out there. You must really want to play the field, you know? So they always made sure that the people that they were heading towards were a lot younger, so they didn't have to have that higher level of commitment with anybody. But with you, no matter what age you were, they knew it involved a higher level of commitment and that scared the shit out of them, as it did with you. But you didn't care what fears that brought on because you knew that your life was with this person. You knew this person had the key to your heart. You was like, here, here's the key. Then just, just let yourself in. Just, here, just here, go. You can do it. Go. And this person wouldn't take that key. It's almost as if this person has seen... Um, like the breakdown of a marriage or maybe their parents went through a divorce or there was toxicity in their own home life, you know, you don't know, do you, what anybody goes through. But it's like this person doesn't believe in marriage or doesn't believe in higher level commitments. It's like, no, I believe in a relationship, but yeah, signing of contracts and marriage and all that lot, no, no, no. Bad things happen when that happens because that's all they've seen. So maybe a lot of their family members have always had divorces or it's always been, yeah, abusive relationships or something like that. That's what I'm picking up. But they're wanting to take this leap of faith with you. That's all they see. I want to give you the world. I didn't fall in love with you is because I've always loved you and I always will. Let's get a chakra card for my lovely Capricorns. I hope you're all doing okay. Just want to thank you for all your love and support that you've given me on my channel. It really does mean the world. And if there's anything like constructive criticism, guys, if there's anything that you want me to change, like um, I know my videos go on for quite a long time. So if there's anything that you want me to change, then I like to do certain readings longer, especially for my um, signs that really do support me, like Capricorn and Cancer and Gemini. Um, Scorpio, they're my big readings. Yeah, I like to do your readings a bit longer because you do guys like you really do support me. Oh, Capricorn, please. Check a card for Capricorn. Oh, oh so handy. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. Well done, Mama Cor. Crown chakra, connection. You two are connecting. I recognize the inner connectiveness of life. I honor my connections to all that is. I embody my universal love. I am worthy of God's unconditional love. I am open to new connections and possibilities as I explore my gift of consciousness. I am always connected. Crown chakra, we, we are connected. Hey. <laughs> I am blessed to be part of the one. I honor and cherish my brothers and sisters, past, present and future, who journey with me. Difference of polarity are not a threat but an alternative view and experience. 
I embrace the shared experience of myself and others as external beings. We are one. Autonomy. Solar plexus chakra, fire element. I move beyond the limits that my ancestors, society and I have unconsciously placed upon me. I am free. I'm going to put that in big right across the screen. I am free. <laughs> I am free. I recognize myself as an autonomous being of the infinite possibilities and potential. I am free to shine my light and strengthen my ego as I discover my potential. I am a limitless being. Amazing. And um, I found these cards again. They were right at the... Um, I've got a box there um, and like a tower of all my um, tarot boxes. Um, and I found the... Um, oh, what did I just see there? Tint. Yeah, I found these cards after a long time. And I was like, oh my God, my romance oracle set. And one for the Capricorn regions, please. Oh, love this so much guys so proud of myself i've said that so many times in this region i'm so sorry romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring new love a new person has to st stirred romantic feelings <laughs> healing family issues as your love life benefits and you forgive your parents just like what i said yeah, they're just clarifying. And for the people that is, this is reconciliation, this is a new love. This isn't an, an old love. And even though it is somebody that you've been with before, you're very different. And you're going to know that once you do meet this person. This isn't the person that you met years ago or however long it is. I feel like this is... Yeah, there's been a there's been a, a space in time, but in that space of time, so much has happened, so much has changed. You've both changed as people, your lives have changed, your wants have changed, your your future plans have changed. So it's almost as if you're both gonna have to re-get to know each other because you're so different and you're both gonna see that. And I feel like you're both gonna come together because you've both had this this pain, this hurt with your family or your own family. Maybe you have a family together and you've got to heal those family issues. I hope this brought you clarity. I hope it's brought you understanding in your situation. I want to send you all my love and my blessings to every single one of you for all your support that you've given me. And it really, truly does mean the world, guys. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey. I'll see you next time, lovelies. Bye.